Hi, today we're going to be talking about cumulative frequencies and there are two types of cumulative frequencies. We have the less than cumulative frequency and a more than cumulative frequency. Now, a lot of people get confused when they hear the term cumulative frequency and they even get more confused when you say less than or more than cumulative frequency. As the name implies, cumulative frequency is the sum of all frequencies up to or greater than equal to a given value or class of a variable. Now, this may sound a little complex and confusing. I'm going to make it much simpler. So I think where the confusion is coming from is from these two words up to and then these other words greater than or equal to so i'm just going to quickly remove this and replace it with from all right so we can say cumulative frequency is the sum of all frequencies from a given value or class of a variable now i'm still going to further make it simpler because we can remove this class and say cumulative frequency is the sum of all frequencies from a given value of a variable now this makes it much simpler now when you say less than cumulative frequency we're just talking about sum of all the frequencies up to a particular value. What do we mean by this? We're just saying from that value, all the frequencies from that value to all the frequencies less than that value and that's why it's called less than cumulative frequency okay you're going to see some examples with this just note that word from now for more than cumulative frequency we're just talking about the sum of all the frequencies from the value and the frequencies above this value and the same thing here is that word from so it's from the value to more than the value and that hence is called more than cumulative frequency so we're going to have some examples just note the term from. So consider this data, which is the number of new cases of COVID-19 that were admitted into an isolation center in Lafia, Nasarawa State, Nigeria. All right. So on the first and the second day, we had three new cases and five new cases. On the third to the fifth day, we had four, seven, and six new cases respectively, giving a total case count of 25 cases. So 25 cases were admitted within a five-day period. And you can see their frequency distribution here. Okay. So how do we do the less than cumulative frequency if you remember the definition for less than cumulative frequency the sum of all frequencies from that value to less than that value so we want to find the cumulative frequency for the value of one of the first day so remember in the first day we had three cases how many cases did we have before the first day which is less than the first day is zero so we're going to be adding that to three and then we have three all right for the second day we had a frequency of five so five new cases for the second day the cumulative frequencies will now be the frequency for the second day with the ones that are less than the second day which is that of the first day so we're going to be adding three and five and that will give us eight so it's just forming a cumulation all right so that's cumulative frequency all right so for the third day we had four and we already had eight from the previous two days so we're going to be adding that and so we have um 12 and then the same for this we have 19 and then here we have 25 all right so there are four things in which you need to note about less than cumulative frequency the first thing is that less than cumulative frequency is the most common i've said that before no totals for cumulative frequency because it's not just going to make any sense for you to compute any totals for cumulative frequency then you also note that when you are doing less than cumulative frequency it starts with the least cumulative frequency or the first frequency so you can see it started with three which is the least cumulative frequency or it started with three which is also the number of cases okay which is the first frequency all right the last thing you need to also note is that yes we know that there's no total for cumulative frequency but the last cumulative frequency that you will have should add up to give you the total frequency so the last cumulative frequency should be equal to the total frequency and remember there are no totals for cumulative frequency so we're going to consider the same data but this time we want to use it for more than cumulative frequency okay so how do we calculate more than cumulative frequency if you remember the definition for more than cumulative frequency we said is the sum of frequencies from that value and above that value so if we're looking for the sum of frequencies from the first frequency for the first day up to the, the fifth day this is just going to be 25 okay and note that this is the same as the total number of new cases okay so we're going to start for more than cumulative frequency we're starting from the highest cumulative frequency that we can have okay which is the same as the total number of new new cases in this instance okay now so what we're just saying here is that what is the cumulative frequency from the one and above that's more than cumulative frequency okay now how do we do for day two now we're looking at the cumulative frequency from day two and above so this is supposed to mean that we're going to take out that of day one because it's from day two and above all right so for us to get that we're just going to simply remove that of day one which is three and then we have 22 okay now considering the fact that we've already 
remove the that of day one and we're having 22 how do we get the more than cumulative frequency for third day for the third day remember we have to remove that of the first and the second day but as of 22 we've already removed that of the first day so we also remove that of the second day we'll say 22 minus 5 and we have 17 okay how do we get that of the fourth day just to make you understand we've already removed that of the first and the second day that's how we ended up at 17 and for us to get that of the fourth day we're going to remove also that of the third day all right and then this is how we get the last one and remember there are no totals so there are four things in which you need to note here all right we're going to start with the total frequencies which is the highest cumulative frequency and that's why we started with 25 all right you also need to end with the same last frequency so if you note here we ended with six and it's the same as the last frequency it has to be the same this is a way in which you can check your modern cumulative frequency okay then there are no totals remember there are no totals all right and finally the first cumulative frequency is the same as the total frequency all right so in summary we have two types of cumulative frequency we have the less than and the more than cumulative frequency the less than is the most common all right less than starts with the least cumulative frequency and it goes to the highest as you can see more than starts from the highest and then it goes to the lowest and there are ways in which you can check your calculation to be sure that you are correct for the less than usually the first cumulative frequency is the first frequency yes and then the last cumulative frequency is the total frequency okay and then for more than cumulative frequency the first cumulative frequency is usually the total frequency you can see but the last cumulative frequency is what i'm going to be leaving you with this if you have been paying attention you should be able to know this i'm going to give you a hint and this is your hint but i want you to put your responses in in the comment section below please don't ignore this put it so that this is what's going to show me that you you're actually following in our next video we are going to be talking about cumulative frequency again but this time we're going to be talking about cumulative frequency for grouped data if you notice this data is ungrouped so it's a little different for grouped data if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video but until then peace <laughs>